Hey there, my name is Megan, and if we haven't met yet, I would love to connect with you outside of the summit. But first, let's talk about Easter. Now, when it comes to Easter, there are so many things to think about. And if you're anything like me, you're probably well on your way with developing or possibly even executing your game plan. So, in all of the hubbub, here's my best advice for you. You have to know your audience. There are so many marketing and production and communication techniques, trends and tips out there, but if you don't know exactly who you are communicating to and what resonates with them, you still won't hit the mark. Now you can plan the best Easter service, do all of the research and execute the best marketing campaign from your perspective, but if it doesn't resonate with your audience, well then you're the only one that felt closer to Jesus during that service. Now. If you haven't taken the time to define your audience, like specifically define your audience, this is a great chance to do just that. You need to define your audience in order to communicate effectively in the leading up to Easter, the during, and the after of Easter. Now there are a lot of really great articles and tools out there to help you define your audience, but here are a few, three exactly, practical suggestions to help you get started. Define the demographic. So think of the various people that you're reaching and answer the following questions for each of them. What is their age? What is their gender? What is their ethnicity, race, cultural background? What is their education level? What is their economic status? What kind of job do they have? For each demographic group that you've outlined, build a sample person from that data. For example, our audience is Steve. He's 32 years old. He lives on the east end of Ann Arbor. He has a wife and two young kids. He's an engineer at Toyota. On Saturday, he likes to golf early in the morning. He makes pancakes when he gets home for his kids. And maybe he likes to grab a burger with his friends after his kids are in bed. Now, I kind of basically just described my husband, but you get the point. Now that you have their demographics nailed down, it's time to define who they are. This is called your psychographics. There's a fly. Ask yourself, what does Steve care about? What are his interests, his values, and his opinions? What moves Steve? Now, if you've created more than one profile, which is wise, since no one's audience is completely homogenous, overlay these psychographics on top of each of your demographic profiles. So now that you've defined and learned a bit more about your key audience, you can tailor your messaging to ensure that what you say is communicated in a way that resonates and relates to your audience. Make sure to listen to them, test out your ideas, ask their thoughts, survey their opinions, and then you can tailor your communication as you learn more. When people walk out of your Easter service, they'll be able to say, wow, that service really spoke to me. One, because God is working, and two, because you worked really, really hard to craft the message of Jesus in a way that makes sense to them. Continue to let Jesus be the hero of your story. You are simply the guide, and like any good guide, you need to tailor your message to the group that you're guiding. I'm praying for you and all the work that God is doing in you and through you as you sit in this really, really important role of communicating the gospel to all the world.